What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Armchair GM Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans for sports fans. And welcome back to the NHL 20 any. <laughs> NHL 20 GM mode commentary series with the Ottawa Senators. Uh, we are here at the end of year number four and um, pretty unsuccessful year. Um, we were very close to making the playoffs, as you've seen in the last video. Um, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we didn't make it. We were just outside the playoffs again. Um, I just think it was a disappointing year because of the acquisitions we did in the offseason last year. And I was hoping for a bigger season. Our rookies had a disappointing second year. So I think it's time for a change. And at first I was like, maybe we should do some personnel change. But I think we should do a little bit even more in depth. And that is our coaching staff. So I went a little bit in depth here and I took a look at our coaching staff. Um, I think it's time to clean house. On the NHL side, I think we're, except for our goalie coach, actually a goalie coach could be better. A D minus isn't the greatest. So I think we should clean house and then all the coaching staff fired. If you take a look why, if we look at our head coach, Walker Pusher, <laughs> um, look at his, uh, his, his roster scheme. Ivanov is, is really low. O'Reilly's high, but Barkov is lower than O'Reilly. And, you know, like I really want to find a coach that has Barkov, Ivanov, and O'Reilly high on their scheme fit, because that's our, that, you know, that's our team right there, and everyone else, you know, it could be all right. So, I think we should just fire coaching staff and then start fresh. So we're gonna fire head coach, we're gonna fire assistant coaches, and fire the goalie coach. So we'll go in and hire some staff here. Um, so we'll click back. Can I? I can't leave this screen, so I gotta I gotta assign someone. I don't even think Grabowski can or has the lime scheme to fit with our players. No, this is a HL. Um, can I promote? So do I have to promote interim head coach? Okay, interim head coach. Can I back out now? Okay, can I make these guys like interim AHL coaches? Fine, NHL assistant coach, NHL goalie coach. There we go. Can I leave now and make this guy the AHL head coach? There we go. Okay. Those are just interim for now until we uh, hire the proper staff here. So hire staff. Let's go in here and find a new head coach that uh, fits well with uh, with a scheme that can fit our players. So start with this Sophilus guy. Uh, I don't want to spend all my money on this guy, but uh, let's see. Okay. So Barkov is really high. Ivanov is really high. O'Reilly, not that high, but... So far, this guy looks good so far. Can we just skip to the next one? Okay, here we go. So then we got uh, Hamill. We got, oh, okay. So Dwight White's, uh, O'Reilly's really high. Ivanov and Barkov are high as well. And Chabot's the best. So this guy is a uh, balanced head coach. That's four years, only 2.3. Uh, age 54. Uh, it's not bad. Can we go back? Can we like see more about this guy? Okay, so he's got a lot of high grades in those categories. Um, okay, so he likes to roll all four lines. He likes to roll all D pairings. Okay, so this guy is so far. I think I like Dwight White. So we'll keep going here, do our due diligence. Okay, no, no. Ooh, ooh. Okay, Wayne McCarthy. Um, coach with a defensive scheme, yet the defense we have don't fit his scheme. Um, but the forwards are really like, like they, they really fit this guy's, uh, this guy's deal. Um, I just don't like how the defense are really low. So maybe this guy as well. So we'll keep this guy in mind. So it's White and then this guy, McCarthy. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on those two. We'll just keep going here. Maybe there'll be someone else that's more evened out throughout. This guy not bad. This one not too bad. It is low for Lindholm and Strom. Davos, Caesar D D Divas. Is that it? Okay, that's it for coaches. Okay, so between Devos, Devos is, is, is looks all right. Um, McCarthy and White. White seems to be the one to go, maybe. Let's see, we're back out here. So White, McCarthy, or Devos. Ah, uh, you know, as I'm going to take out Diva, so it's between McCarthy and White. So McCarthy, who's low? Branson's low, and Chabot a little bit. 
And that's for white. It's Strom. You know what? I think I might be going with this guy. Dwight White is our head coach, guys. So the new coach of the Ottawa Center, if he went four years, we'll give him four years. Dwight White. Let's hire him. Can we... Can I not select him? How do I hire a new coach? Is there a setting that I... Oh, didn't I switch the, the hire coach thing? Oh, okay. So... I think I can switch that back. Hopefully, hopefully we can, or else I kind of just messed up here. <laughs> um, we should be able to. So it should be in rules. Okay, should be somewhere in here. We should be able to. Uh, setting will determine how much TV manager. Oh, auto staff management's on, no, off. So we turn that off, so that means I will be doing that, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Okay, so I found the settings. Now I can go and hire my coach. Okay. <sighs> a little bit of a hiccup there. We'll, we'll be good. All right, so hire coach. Let's go hire Mr. White. <laughs> uh, you're breaking bad fans out there. It's pretty funny. So let's hire Mr. White. Four years, 2.3 million. You know what, just to give him an incentive. Let's give him... Uh, Give him a little bit more there. Offer contract. All right. So now that, that's that. Um, should hire a couple more for assistance, or maybe we, let's wait for let's wait for that guy to get signed, and then we'll worry about our assistant coaches. So we got that head coach. We'll see if we can get that head coach for sure. So I think we're still we can still send ahead here. Yeah. I don't feel like your size, your market is what I'm looking for. I would decline. What? Come on. Really? This is one of those things where I have to hire, like, or I have to, like, give him more money for him to come here. Okay. Let's get him up to 2.5. 2.5. Come on. If not, I'm going to go with our other boy there, McCarthy. Let's just send through these days here. Come on, White. Accept that offer. There we go. All right. He gladly accepts. Dwight White, the official head coach of the Ottawa Senators. All right. So now that he's signed, we can go in and hire our assistant staff just to see how much money we have left. Ooh. Does that we're over budget? Will it not let me? Are we over budget? Can I sign this guy? Yeah, we're negative budget. I don't know why. How can let me sign with negative budget? All right, we're fine. No, we got we have our, our head coaching staff and our and our, our regular staff, but that's all right. So if we see our coaching staff now. Let's just see what it kind of looks like. Uh, so yeah, Grabowski moved down to associate coach. That's all good. Um, okay, yeah, that's all right. So Dwight White, style physical. Okay, I like that. So. He's happy. Let's see if this did anything to the line chemistry. It should have because the scheme now fits. Um, so let's go into edit lines. Let's see what it looks like now. It should change. Okay, so now, yeah, it did look. It did change a little bit. Let me, what if I put... Okay, so now, now with Ivanov and Barkov and O'Reilly, it's plus one. So I don't think it's going to change if I move people around now. Okay, so that's good. So... Let's say we did what I originally thought. Okay, so I originally thought no, but Cam Atkinson, uh, it kind of sucks because now with our new coach, Kachuk fits into the top six. Might have to move on from Cam Atkinson, move him. Uh, <laughs> it was a trial and error with him, but uh, we'll have to move on from him. 5.8 is not a bad contract to move. Um, I just don't think Cam Atkinson uh, is going to fit on this team now. So we'll move on from him. Um, other than that, defense, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay, so now Lindholm and Shabbat have a plus three. Let's just see if we move this around. Oh, and it's still a plus three. Okay, I like that. I like that Branstrom can get a little bit of a boost here playing with Shabbat now. Okay, so this is good. This is good, guys. I, this was a good move by getting a new coach, so I like this. So we'll see what happens with um, 
uh, the next season. So I hope this did something and would help us make the playoffs. I, I'm, I, I'm trying to get through all my options here, but uh, so let's just sim right on on to the draft. Let's just see how our AHL squad does. Did they make the playoffs? They did. They're facing Laval Rocket. So let's just watch them and see how they do. Okay, we'll sim past the first round. Uh, so they're not playing the Marlies the first round, so that's kind of, that's kind of a good sign. Look at this, and we just swept the Laval Rocket in the first round. All right, so that's a good sign for our AHL kids. Playing the Rochester Americans in the second round. Let's just skip through that series. All right, there's a win, win. Wow, look at this. No, oh, we gotta go. Okay, there's the first loss, but. Uh, Wow, man, a seven and one so far in the AHL playoffs for the Belleville Senators. Let's see how we do against the Hershey Bears. All right, wow, look at this. Oh well, we came back down to earth. We won in Game Six, so eleven and three, going into the Calder Cup Final against the San Diego Gulls. Let's just slim or sim through those playoffs there. Lost, lost. Oof, might get swept here. Maybe Brown, the Boston Bruins fire their head coach. Okay, let's uh, keep going. Win. Loss, win, win. Did we win game? Oh, we brought it to game seven, but the Gulls win in the Calder Cup final. And the Carolina Hurricanes winning the Stanley Cup. The Storm Surge getting their Stanley Cup. Good for them. Um, so good for Carolina. So let's go to the awards here and just uh, see what's happened around the league with the awards. So Carolina uh, winning there. You see, so you can see through our sim, the Blackhawks, Wilds, St. Louis, and then Carolina. So the, the West winning four straight with the Blues winning two cups in those four years. But then now the East getting a Stanley Cup. Carolina, let's see who they faced off in the West. The Colorado Avalanche. That must have been a crazy final. Individual awards, Nathan McKinnon, three years in a row winning the Art Cross. This kid is a stud. Uh, winning And he winning the Hart Memorial Trophy again in the last three years. That's twice in the last three years. Kale McCarr winning the Norris back-to-back. -back. Colorado is just a stud team. Lady Bing going to Kucherov. Uh, Calder Memori going to a Beret Boulay on Tampa Bay. I wonder who the hell that is. Uh, Sefnikov getting the Conn Smythe. Vasilevsky winning the Jennings and Vesna uh, second time in two or three years for him. Bill Mashin going to this uh, uh, Colin guy on uh, Vegas. Carolina's coach getting the Jack Adams, as he should. Uh, Couturier winning the Selkie. Uh, McKinnon third year in a row with the Ted Lindsay. And, but then Patrick Lane winning that Maurice Richard. So those are your awards for year number four, guys. All right, so let's just sim on over to the draft. I don't believe we have a lottery pick. I highly doubt we'll get a lottery pick. It'd be hilarious if we do, um, but I'm not expecting anything, and there we go. Uh, so we got 13th. All right, so we stayed at 13. Not too bad. Still a top, uh, still a first-round pick. I still would have loved to make the playoffs, but uh, look at the Islanders moving from 7-2 uh, to two in Boston, 5-1, to one, firing their coach and then getting the lottery pick. So get rewarded, Boston. Um all right, so let's just take a look at our draft class. See who we're projected to pick at number 13. Uh, the first overall pick is supposed to be this Jacobs guy, Henrik Jacobs. Might be a stud for Boston. Uh, so we're projected to get around the 13th pick here. So we could get this guy, Drew Hickman, an offensive defenseman. Ooh, he's uh, got pretty good scouting stats. Uh, Gail Pettinger, uh, Ryder Thorne. Ooh, 20 goals, 31 assists. Not too bad. Okay, I don't like his penalty minutes, though. Uh, Lars Hornquist, uh, 6 goals and 6-6 six, six and an A-plus league. That's not bad. That's, that's actually pretty good stats. He only played 13 minutes, though. So, um, you know, he could be a long developmental player. We got uh, Hugo Bure. Not too shabby. And we got a top four defensive defenseman. It might be this guy I want to draft. Uh, Dmitry Kaminsky, weird stats for a defenseman in an A-plus league, uh, but this guy could be a nice defensive defenseman for us. He's similar style Phil Housley of all people, but uh, you know what? I'm going to pin this guy. I kind of want to, oh, well, I pressed the wrong button, but okay, remember the remember that guy. Um, let's just view retired players. I don't think anyone retired on our team, but let's just see. Bergeron retired off Boston, Vanek, Pominville. Uh Let's just sort by team here. Uh, I don't think we have anyone retiring because we don't really have any veterans because we're a young, uh, young, young team here and uh, we have no veteran leadership. Maybe we should, but I don't want to build the team that way. 
So let's just wait till it sims to the draft here and do our uh, draft interviews. Okay, I don't think we had any coaches retire. I think hopefully not here. Let's go down the O's. Nobody. Okay, good. We're good. All right. Let's go do these draft interviews. So I kind of want to interview one or two players here. Uh, let's go down. So we're projected to 13th overall pick. So one of these guys. So it was uh, Kaminsky that I thought about. Uh, there's also a Gianta. A Henry Upshaw. Who are this guy? Matej Reichel. He could be something. But this guy Upshaw. He might be a projected eight. So we're projected about right here, but that guy could be taken higher. And this guy could be go down, Corbin Franzen. So we're projected to maybe get this Hickman guy. So let's interview this Hickman guy. Let's see how we, what he's like. Interview player. So we'll do his play style first. So his readiness. We'll see how ready he is. Okay, so one year. Um, let's go to a new topic here. Let's talk about his skills. His strengths. So what are their strengths? Okay, and let's go to a new topic. And play style. Okay, so let's get the overall uh, what this guy is uh, this guy is hoping for, or what we're hoping from this guy. So he's strength or skating. He's on a, an offensive defenseman, one year ETA. So Drew Hickman is a guy we could get. Maybe he's an offensive defenseman, but I kind of want a defensive defenseman. So I kind of want to see if we can get this guy Kaminsky, because um, there's no one else around here that I don't think we should trade or take higher. Ooh, this guy top four. Damn, this guy. Maybe this guy. He's going late too. Thirty-two. What's wrong with this guy? Well, it's a lot of penalty minutes, but shutdown ability. I'm oh man, one year and he's compared to Vlasic. Ooh, do we take Jamal Dorset high and skip out on uh, what is it Kaminsky? I don't know. Ooh boy. Ooh boy, that'll be something we'll have to think about, guys. And we're here at the draft, so uh, without further ado. Um, first thing we're going to do actually is move on from Cam Axon. So maybe we can trade Cam Axon for a first round pick and get both those guys. So, you know what? So he was projected to go 32. So anyone from the bottom up here, let's try to find a West team. So Vancouver at 30. Could probably get their pick. Do they want Cam Atkinson? They don't. But I'm hoping that they would definitely take that for their first round pick. Probably could get more out of them too. I don't want to take any players. Just draft picks. Um, oh, we can probably get their 16th overall pick too. Would that work? No, that's way too much. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll keep. Let, let's make it not cheap. Let, let's let's let them keep the 16th. Uh, maybe a second, first and a second for Cam Atkinson. Nothing that's fair. Would that go through? All right, trade accepted. So Cam Atkinson's gone. Um, it was much needed, guys. It was just a, it was a trial. It was a fail, a trial and error kind of thing with uh, Atkinson. So that's all right. So he's gone. But now we can get those two defensemen as our uh, our first round picks here. So let's just see how the first overall pick guy went. Jacobs, eighty one overall center playmaker, stud for Boston. Uh, Bennington, number eighty for the uh, New York Islanders, and then yeah, so. It starts to drop off. So let's just sim to pick number 13. Oh, no. <laughs> Detroit took him. Damn it. He went higher. Oh, and he was a stud. Oh, yikes. Well, that kind of backfired. Oh, no. We want a Kaminsky. What am I talking about? That was the offensive defenseman. Wait, was he a defensive defenseman? Okay. Never mind then. Uh, we're taking Kaminsky, guys. Dmitry Kaminsky. All right, so medium tough four. Not as high overall as Hickman, but that's because he's an offensive defenseman. Okay, and that's his over his offensive stats that are making him that high overall. But defensively, this Kaminsky guy could develop into a nice defensive defenseman for us. So I'm happy with that pick. We'll just sim to our next pick, sim to 30, and we'll get hopefully get that other defensive defenseman. Let's see here. Uh, they do want us to take this. Is that Jamal Dorsett? Yeah, this is the guy we wanted. So Jamal Dorsett. 
Welcome to the Ottawa Senators. Let's see how he is. Another medium tough four. And he was a higher overall. So two solid defensive defensemen guys in the first round. I'm loving that. Uh, Jamal Dorsett looking like he was the bigger stud. So I'm happy with that. Let's just sim to the next pick. And they're back to back. Look at that. Uh, couldn't have planned that any better. So what does it want us to take? Another defenseman? I don't really want to take another defenseman at this point. Um, I don't know at this point to take a forward. Ooh, this guy. And a C. Lee. He's got 22 goals, 34 assists. He might be okay. Four years to take, though, to, to develop. Uh, Jacob Kuznetsov. Hmm. Compared to Alex Petrangelo, uh, could take the Petrangelo guy. Take another. He's gonna be a defensive draft here, guys. Ooh, this guy. In a C League, 15 goals, 18 assists. Evgeny Kuznetsov. It takes four years to develop. Now we have enough goalies. It takes three years to develop. They only got two assists in a B league. Hmm. Maximilian Nobles. You know what? I like that name. We're going to take him. Maximilian Nobles, a German kid. Still a low top six. You know what? I, I'll take that. And next, um, we'll take one of these guys. Maybe this guy, Hugo Fashad. Might not even, not even going to just just pick him. Just pick him. Medium top nine. Whatever. He, <laughs> Fashad could be something. We never know. Uh, Sim to the next pick. Oh, look at I should have looked. We had a pick right there. Okay, so maybe we take the uh, Jacob Kuznetsov kid to center. Or do we take Pecker, Leonard Pecker? Hmm. No, let's take Pecker. Leonard Pecker. Medium top nine, whatever. Okay, let's just see what Kuznetsov what ended up being. Uh, let's just say him. Hopefully he's nothing big. Yeah, medium top nine. Okay, we're good. So let's just send to the next pick. If there's no one around it, we'll just send to the rest of the draft. Look at this guy. Look at this guy's last name. Alexander Adi March Assault. Jesus. Five years of develop. Oh, man. You're a bottom six for sure. Uh, this guy had a decent stats in the WHL. What the hell? Oh, it's a goalie. Um, <laughs> how do you have no games played? How are you supposed to tell what this guy's done? <laughs> oh, boy. Maybe this guy? Eh, not too bad. Unless we take... You know, I like this guy's last name. We're going to take Audi Marchesol. All right, low top six. You never know. Send to the next pick. Oh, we want to trade. Nah. I don't need more low end picks. No. At this point, guys, these are just the people that are just, you know. I mean, the St Stanford guy could be a good goal. It could be a good trading asset. Let's just draft him. Medium backup could be a good trading asset. I think I'm just going to send the rest of the draft now. Let's just send the entire draft. And we'll end it off there. All right. So not too bad of a successful draft. I think it's a su uh, successful draft. Two solid defensive defensemen in the first round for our future here. And uh, we'll send to the re-sign phase. Okay. Let's go to contracts. Don't think there's any big names we'll have to re-sign off the bat. Yeah, everyone's got... We will have to maybe try extensions on our rookies, though, for next year. Uh, Mikheyev, he wants to come back for us. 82 overall, 28 years old. Third line check. You know what? This is where we're going to have to think about what our bottom six is going to be like. So we go to forwards, and we serve by overalls. So we got Barkov, Strom, Ivanov, um... Barkov, Barkov Storm is our centers, and then we have Ivanov, O'Reilly, uh, Brady Kachuk, and Logan Brown as our our, our our top six there. And you got Byfield, 
Then you would have Mikheyev and Abramov. And then Norris, Batherson, and one of the rookies coming up. Yeah, that kind of works out. Okay, so we can bring Mikheyev back. No, he's not going to want a lot either. Look at that. 1.6 for two years. I'm cool with that. Thank you, Mikheyev. Come on back. Batherson, yeah, we'll bring you back for that fourth line, kid. Two years at 1.6. That's good enough as well. Sign him. And uh, is it Grop doesn't want to be here? Okay, so he can go. Gone. Uh, McCarron wants to come back. Help some uh, OHL depth or AHL depth. There we go. Balsers as well. He wants to come back. Sure. Cool with them. They made it to the Calder Cup Finals. Why get rid of them? I don't think I have to sign anybody else. Um, you know, maybe give Recky one more year. Yeah, one more year to develop. This guy was a 18-18. Uh, no, bottom six. You can go. A couple of 19 year olds here, but they're low top nine. Don't have to sign them just yet. Uh, we got an elite, a low elite. When did we draft this guy? Oh, he's our sixth round pick. Wow. Good job, scouts. Okay, so that's it for the Fords. Defense one, two, three, four, five, six. And Ty Smith still is the backup. All right. Wally doesn't want to sign. I don't care. See you later. Yaros wants to stay. Yep, you're good for a minor league deal. Two, three, four. Ooh. Oh, that was our defense defenseman. Four. Uh, this guy can go. Five, six, seven. So we don't need anybody else. These guys can go as well. Release. Release. We need to sign Patrick. He's going to be playing the AHL for sure. All right. Anyone else we need to give contracts to? No. Okay. And then goalies. We're still good with Leonard and Gustafson. Solgar, we'll keep an eye on and see what happens with him through the progression. But Tucker Tynan is going to be coming up to the AHL for sure. Look at that, 76. He's growing fast too. And as for a backup, okay, Brigley. Okay, this is our medium elite goal. He needs a contract. 72 overall, 19. Uh, we're going to run into a goalie situation, guys. I know we are, so let's just uh, get rid of that guy. All right, so we'll see what happens after the progression uh, throughout the offseason. But it uh, doesn't look like we need to sign anybody. So we'll see what the free agent market looks like, but I don't think we're going to sign anybody. So let's just sim here, make sure everyone's signed. Okay. Because I'm a Karen rejected. Okay. So McCarron is going to let you walk then. Okay. McCarron release. And we have 17 million. Okay. Definitely good. We're going to need that money to, to, to extend our two, our top rookies there. So uh, we're not looking to spend in free agency. So let's just sim over to free agency. Okay, so <laughs> Jonathan Huberto, of course, of course that this guy is in the free agent, but he wants 10.875 for seven years, man. If I, I could probably sign this guy, throw him on the first line, reunite Barkov, and we'd have a ridiculous first line. I mean, it's not out of the, it's not out of the possibilities here, but oh my God, what a freaking free agency. God, I was really hoping no one big was going to be there, but do we go after like it would you can you imagine that first line of Ivanov, Huberto, and Barkov? It would just be disgusting. Like you would have Bark, so you have okay. Let's just look at it. Barkov, Huberto, Ivanov. Then you have Strom, Brown, O'Reilly. So then we're giving up one of Kachuk or Brown. Uh, so like, okay, Kachuk's been our longest tenured. He was he's 
the top pick for Ottawa back in 2018. Like, is it time to move on from him? Like, we see what he's done. I mean, he's, he's he is growing, and he's, his points are going up. Oh, man, I don't. I really don't want to give up. I really don't want to give up uh, Brady Kachuk and Logan Brown. I mean, Logan Brown could probably fit in the third the third line. He still project. He still lists as a third line guy. So that would mean we'd have Barkov, Huberto, Ivanov, Strom, O'Reilly, Kachuk, and then Byfield, Brown, Mikheyev, and then Abramov would have to be the one to go. So Abramov would go, and then we'd have Batherson, Norris, and one of the rookies coming up. You know what, guys? And if we give Huberto that contract, so there's there's about eleven million dollars gone. So that leaves us with six million dollars for her next year. So in six million dollars to sign Ivanov O'Reilly, like I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Like I don't think we have enough money for that. Cause there anyone else that's coming off the books that's gonna give us money? I don't think so. Let's just go down the list here. No. There's no forwards right now that's coming off the books that's gonna you know, that's gonna help us with salary cap. And we'll get defensemen. I mean, Zaitsev, that's $5 million, so that'd be an extra five. Lindgren, that's another two. You know, maybe. You know what? That's, we're pushing it here. We're in, like, leaf territory, guys, with the salary cap. So, ugh. I mean, can we offer an extension right now? Let's just see what he's looking at. We're looking at 8.5 for Ivanov. We offered one now. And then O'Reilly, only four. But if we moved it to if if I if I wanted to, okay. So O'Reilly I want more than three years. If we moved it to f five or six, ooh, you know what? We could. This might be doable, guys. This might be doable. This might be doable. It would be like Leaf territory, but this might be doable. I don't know what to do, guys. Do we do do we? I'm gonna leave this. I really, I think I might just leave this now and, and wait for someone to comment. I, I really want to know what to do. Do we go and sign Jonathan Huberto, or do we keep the team as it is now and have the salary cap to uh, sign everybody next year? You guys, let me know what you want. What we should do. I really want to know. So let me down. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Probably a quick one, I know, but uh, I'll get another video out to you guys soon. I'm Kyle on behalf of the Armchair GM Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans for sports fans. This has been the other, the next video in the NHL 20 GM mode commentary series with the Ottawa Senators. I'll see you guys next time.